Today on Law Weekly, we bring you some more of what transpired when the Senate confirmed Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed as Chief Justice of Nigeria. We also have the reactions of some senior lawyers to the House of Reps Edo Assembly crisis, plus the views of two senior advocates on how the judiciary can better handle election petition cases. That's the lineup on this episode of Law Weekly. Hello and welcome. I am Shola Shoyeli. On Wednesday, the 17th of July, Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed accompanied by some Supreme Court justices, the President of the Court of Appeal, and some others appeared before the Senate. Here's what transpired. After introducing himself, the lawmakers asked him several questions. I can quote the Supreme Court, if you permit me. The Supreme Court said, technicality in the administration of justice shuts out justice and went further to say that it is therefore better to have a case heard and determined on its merits than to leave the court with the shield of victory obtained on mere technicality. This Supreme Court. So we're very happy with that. But my Lord, just a few weeks ago, the Supreme Court also said, and I quote, the correct order to make is to declare the judgment of the trial tribunal a nullity as a result of one of the panelists not sitting on a day proceedings were held. And so Nigerians are really worried. Where would this Supreme Court be situated? We would like to know from you, under you, where justice will be, uh, not where justice will be, what we can expect from the Supreme Court under you. Permit me. distinguished president and the senators to see that what is a technicality? Something which is technical in my definition it is something that is not usual, that may sometimes defy all the norms known to a normal thing. It may be technical. Now, we have technicalities in our laws, and this is because these laws that we have inherited, we inherited them from the British. The British people have, for quite centuries ago, introduced what is known as technicalities in their laws. Now, if something is technical, it is in a way given a leeway for double interpretation. It may be interpreted this way by Mr. A, or it may be interpreted this way by Mr. B. Now, if something is technical comes before the law or before the courts. What we normally do at the trial court is we ask people who are expert in that field to come and testify. We rely on their testimony 
because they are experts in that field. Ask me anything on aeroplane, I don't know. Ask me to drive an aeroplane, I am sure if you are a passenger and they told you that that flight is going to be driven by Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko, I am sure you'll get out of the plane. <laughs> because it is something that requires technicality. And if I have any technicality, my technicality will only be limited to law. Therefore, it is something that has to do with the perception of the way you think you'll be able to achieve the goals of what you want to achieve. Several of our laws are dependent on technicalities. But remember, when we come, we have what is known as rules of interpretation. We resort to rules of interpretation. There are several rules of interpretation. Those of us who are lawyers here know there are several rules of interpretation. So we resort to that one. And it is through that we resolve the problem that is technically raised. So that is the answer. Other interesting questions came from Senator Kweyemi Bamidile. Rightly or wrongly, my lord, the corruption perception index for the judiciary is not encouraging. What steps or mission would his lordship take to improve the situation? And the deputy Senate president, Senator Ovie Omoagege. Everyone knows, uh, my lord, that the fight against corruption is one area that is very, very dear to the executive arm of government, very, very dear to all of us here, the senators, very, very dear to all Nigerians. As a consequence of that, my lord, people are of the view that as head of the court, it's expected or they are requesting of you to designate certain judges or indeed certain courts as special anti-corruption courts to hear all of these cases, to fast track these cases, so that cases do not languish in these courts for eight, nine, ten years. I'm talking about corruption cases. I'm also aware, my lord, that uh, you have uh, uh, an anti-corruption trial monitoring committee uh, we don't know what the result is, you know, but for sure, we have not seen these cases being fast-tracked. I'd like to know your views on that. I always say that uh, a Nigerian judiciary is, pass, uh, is part and parcel of Nigeria. Therefore, I am not surprised if I see some justices are corrupt. But that does not mean that such judges who are corrupt should not be identified and treated under our laws. Now, the most worrisome aspect of it is it happens at the lower ebb of the judiciary more. Uh, for those of us who know the area courts and the magistrate courts, this is where the main problem arises. Now, let me say generally that 
corruption is imbued in the person who wants to be corrupted or the person even who corrupts. Because if there is no corruptor, then there shall be no person who will be corrupted. Left to me, left to me, they should face same music. Left to me. Therefore, I am urging distinguished uh, members of the parliament, both here and at the state level, if need be, we take a holistic look at our criminal laws. Let us amend them. Let us take care of all these kind of things. Let us provide adequately so that it will serve to inhibit the practices of this kind of thing. We know there are laws, quite all right now. But uh, for those who are all out to see that they, they are saying, I'm reading from far distance, they are saying that, ah, what is there? The law is not adequate for me. What is there? I will go and spend two years. I come out. I, by, by the time I got my millions, this and that. Please, it is the responsibility of the legislature to see that it sanitizes the society. The question put by a distinguished Senator Bamidele, the duty and responsibility of the legislature at the national level, at the state level, to see that you touch these places so that you close all the ends where people may get corrupted. Judiciary, what does it really require? Do we re cut anything from what they have suggested? Go and find out what is really happening. We don't have any other way. What is, what is the allowance of, uh, of, of, of justice of the Supreme Court? Plus his salary, what does it amount to? If I tell you, you will laugh. And I cannot go ask, begging, begging or asking somebody. I'm contented with what I have. But uh, the legislature, I'm sure, has every right and has every power to see that things are put right. Is it the view of the Senate that the nominee takes a bow? After this, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed was asked to take a bow and leave. The Senate subsequently confirmed him as the Chief Justice of Nigeria.